It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome to your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now we live in an age where there seems to be a holiday devoted to absolutely everything. So why should we stop now? It's National Lipstick Day in America this coming Saturday. But let's not leave all of the fun up to them. That's why we're celebrating International Lipstick Day right here on Expresso. And we have a very special guest who knows a thing or two about our favorite makeup essential. It's the 2011 Mrs. South Africa and all-round beauty expert, Lene de Jager. Welcome to the show. Thank How you so are much. You? I'm well, thank you. You're looking you. beautiful. I love the pop of yes. color on the lips there. <laughs> thank you so much. So stunning. Okay, so I'm amazed that there is a national lipstick day, but do you want to tell us exactly why are we celebrating it? Yes, um, the th Saturday the 29th of July is International Lipstick Day. This is actually an American holiday, but wow. this year we're bringing it to South Africa. I think it's fabulous that uh, women can actually celebrate feeling beautiful yeah. with lipstick. I don't know if you if you um, know, if, if you put a different color on your lips, yeah. you're just, you're, you're in, a, in a different mood. It just takes your mood up um, a whole few yes. levels. Yeah. So that is why, what we're celebrating on Saturday. So I hope every single woman in South Africa is wearing yeah. a fabulous color on Saturday. And in terms of history, I think a lot of people don't know the the history of lipstick, you know, going back way back to, to 1650, yes. you know, um, and how, you know, the British Parliament called it a vice of painting and women were perceived to be slightly more uh, too ostentatious if they were wearing it. It was something yeah. that was banned back it in the day. It was banned, yes. It's actually, it's so, it's so hard, so, because, um, because, yeah, yeah, it was, it was banned. I know that Elizabeth Taylor also, she banned other people wearing lipstick yeah. because it made them feel so good. Yeah. Um, other people on, on movie sets. Yeah. So It's quite interesting. There's also some facts uh, surrounding lipstick and of course it showcases how important this tiny little tube is in the lives of women uh, worldwide. Like for instance, women will use up to nine pounds of <laughs> lipstick in their lifetime and about 30% of that lipstick will land up in your stomach due to lip licking and eating. Lipstick is also most commonly shoplifted. It's yes, the thing that people so steal the small. most. Um, how about this one? Like you said, Elizabeth Taylor supposedly banned others from wearing lipstick on her movie sets because she thought it was an unwanted distraction, unless she was wearing it, of course. Definitely. Then she could wear it. And then in a poll conducted, 30%, 30 7% of women believe their lipstick helped them flirt their way out of a speeding I ticket. I tried that before. <laughs> Have you tried it? <laughs> yes, and it works. Oh, it definitely works. <laughs> well, let's bring in two of the models that you yes. brought here today. And let's talk about trending lip looks for this winter. Thank you so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Shall our models come inside? Hello, darlings. How are you? All right, so Lene, what are the hottest trends when it comes to lipstick for winter time? Okay, hottest trends definitely is something bright and vibrant this year, mm -hmm. and also matte. Matte is a very big trend at the moment. Yeah. Um, it is also di very difficult to find a, a matte lipstick that moisturizes your lips, okay. so it's hard to, to shop around. But yeah, matte it is. Matte so is I'm going to start matte. with um, the day look. All right. So I'm using a shameless color. This is a nice vibrant and and um, coral color. Very um, nice. I just um, pull. The, the outline so if you don't have a, a pencil in the same color you can just use a brush okay. to um, draw the outlines and then it, um, sorry can you hold this for me thank you so much and these are more wintry colors, hey? The, it is more wintry colors, but the um, the coral colors and also the, the pink that I'm wearing is very is definitely trending, especially yeah. with the maroon. I love that. Uh, yeah, so coral is definitely in for summer and winter and for spring that's coming up. Very cool. I think a lot of people think that when it comes to winter, you need to wear neutral tones. Yeah. But I love that or you can add a colors. pop of color every now and definitely, then. Definitely, definitely. And also, what I normally do is if I put on my first layer of lipstick, I'll just wait for it to settle yeah. a few seconds and then I'll put a second layer on, especially with matte lipstick, nice. then it lasts long. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Very nice. So I'm just gonna apply a second layer here. Yeah. And if you do a colored lip, you don't actually need to do a lot on your eyes, okay. which is very nice. Very nice. And okay. then for our second model, I see, what is that lip color called? It's stunning. Is it more this orangey is, red? This one is called Trophy Wife. Okay. <laughs> yes, oh, Trophy but Wife. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an orangey red, a red with a little bit of coral as well. Yeah. And this is also a very nice red to wear every day, not only in the evening. Stunning. And I think it's going to pop so beautifully, especially with her skin tone Definitely. too. Definitely. Okay? That is why I chose it. 
Very, very nice. Now, I know that many women struggle with proper application of lipstick. What would you say is your top tip for making sure that your lipstick is long lasting and also applied properly? Um, to start off with, your, your lips actually is um, more sensitive than your fingertips. I don't know really? if a lot of people know that, yeah. yes. So it is very important to moisture your lips the mm -hmm. whole time. So what I would do in the mornings before I apply any makeup, I'll just put like a lip ice on my lips just to moisture it. And then I'll apply my makeup. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, I'll put my first layer of lipstick on, yeah. wait a few seconds to settle, then I'll put a second layer on. Okay. And also in the evenings when I go to bed, I'll make sure that I moisture my lips. That is my first thing. And my second thing is just to exfoliate your lips once a week. Wonderful. It is definitely necessary. Oh, wow. Our girls look absolutely amazing. Lene, thank you so much for, we go. Uh, of course, uh, letting us know how important lipstick is and, of course, giving us the latest tips for lips this winter. Well, there you have it. Who knew that lipstick could, could, could be such a conversation starter? Our thanks goes to our beauty expert, Lene Diachert, for sharing her lipstick style secrets. And if you want to go and check out more you, about this tiny tube, you can head over to Express. Show's website. Happy International Lipstick Day, everyone.